global scale, New Year is celebrated on the 1st of January. In Thailand, they can hardly wait until April 13th to throw or splash water on one another during the traditional holiday known as Songkran or Thai New Year. In terms of tourism, it is often referred to as the Thai Water Festival. You know it from the walking streets of Bangkok, Pattaya, Chiang Mai and Phuket, but the local rural people outside these cities and tourist areas celebrate Songkran Day very differently. Everyone gets into the car, motorcycle or selang with a water barrel or water gun and splashes everyone wet. We had already prepared ourselves for the water festival in the morning, papers and phones wrapped in plastic. I had a loaded water gun. We went by Selang to Klang town, from there while fighting water back to Mai Pim. We arrived at the beach road of Mai Pim completely soaked and covered in lime powder.
This was April 13th, the day of cleansing. This first day of Songkran marks the beginning of the water festivities. Thais believe that by gently pouring fragrant water over Buddha images and the shoulders of elders, they are symbolically washing away the misfortunes and negativity of the past year. It is a time for purification, seeking blessings and preparing for a fresh start. April 14th is the day of family. On this day, families gather to strengthen their bonds and pay respects to their ancestors. Many Thais return to their hometowns to reunite with loved ones, participate in religious ceremonies and seek blessings from elders. It is a time for reconnecting with one's roots, sharing meals and creating cherished memories. The third day is April 15th, the day of renewal. The final day of Songkran is a celebration of renewal and new beginnings. Thais visit temples to make merit, offer food to monks and participate in traditional activities like building sand pagodas. This day signifies a fresh start, filled with hope and aspirations for the coming year.